Hi, and thank you for joining me at the Small Hoteliers Conference at No Vacancy. My name is Kate, and I am a photographer and social media manager for Emerald City Hotels. I'm talking today about how to create images with your iPhone. So this talk is called Picture This. And the images are how to take professional quality photos of your property that sell using only your phone. And throughout this presentation, I'm only going to use photos I've taken with my iPhone. It's very challenging for me as a photographer who trained on a Hasselblad, um, but this is to stay genuine to the talk. This is what I'm doing. Uh, this is an image I reference all the photos. So whether they've taken, I've taken them at work on site or from holidays with my family, I will reference which property it's from and they're all Australian properties. Uh, this image is from Echo Beach in Broome, Western Australia. So visual content in the hotel industry is a powerful way to convert potential guests. Images can significantly impact a guest's decision-making process. Now, I listened to an amazing interview with the co-founder of Airbnb, Brian Chesky, and he really brought up some amazing points that he applies to all his advertising campaigns. He says people travel for three reasons, and when he creates images, he tries to put them into one of these three categories. The first category, he says, is experience other cultures. So this image here, I was staying at Sanctuary Cove, the intercon with my family, and there's a man-made lagoon and kangaroos go and sun themselves. Now, yes, it's a man-made experience, but I just could sit there and watch my kids, uh, other people from other countries, other guests just go gaga for this experience with their cameras and they just thought, even if it wasn't a quintessential situation, I mean, kangaroos are really in the Australian bush, for them, it was an experience. And it was just amazing to just sit and watch and just be like, wow, the intercon can just trade off this. They even shared this image that I, I tagged them in when we were staying there. The second reason is to sort our heads out about our career and futures. So this is an image, it always converts on our Instagram and Facebook. And let's not forget Facebook. A lot of social media managers for hotels are quite young and they might say to the owners, oh, people don't really go on Facebook anymore. It's all about TikTok. Look, we have a TikTok account to establish relationships, but the high net worth individuals are still on Facebook. Uh, images, and especially still images, which is what I've been asked to talk about today, even though we do create video, still images definitely convert. And if you can create that image that takes people away from their everyday life to just let them unplug, they will book. And the last reason is to revive relationships. Now, this is the only image not taken with an iPhone because it was taken by a wedding photographer on site at the Albert Mossman. This image is showing a bride was getting ready and this is the bride's mother and bride's sister. They were looking at the bride and they were just so happy that they embraced each other. Capturing striking images with your smartphone. There's some tips. Use different perspectives. Tell a story with full length versus close up photos. Full length shots versus close up photos of seating areas, facilities like tea and coffee, decorative elements, and then with a full shot of the premises. And this is great for stories, Facebook stories, Instagram stories, can then be a video for TikTok. And it kind of ties in your premises. It tells a nice little story. So for example, the Albert Mossman, you've got the full length shot and then just close-ups of the old and the new, the, the architecture. Airbnb, I stayed at this cute little Airbnb at Barrington Tops, and obviously there's a pretty generic full-length shot of the premises, and then you can just invite people into the story. You know, what are the special features there? They have this beautiful, beautiful you know, wood fire uh, bath overlooking the area. Glenferry Lodge property, four-star property, sorry. Uh, it's a historic building and then the close-ups there of telling the story. These are the teacups we serve to the guests, so these are the teacups that I put in the photo. I don't go out of my way to, to kind of up the ante. What your guests get, you put in. Uh, this is a cute little place we stayed at in Hawk's Nest, uh, just a, a nice generic hotel shot and then telling the story about the little features that make it unique. 
uh, the penthouse come on, so showing the view, just take it with an iPhone and then taking some nice little, that's my daughter there, very happy for a day in a hotel. Dalziel Lodge, the historic full length shot, just telling the story of what the guests are going to experience. Location, location, location. Use location photos of your local area to your advantage. This could include anything from boat trips to art galleries and cafes. Storytelling for your hotel doesn't end at descriptions and photos. Guests would like to know what's around the area they are about to stay in and they make great visual photos. So the top one was just a sunset at Intercon, Century Cove, Luna Park, which is near Dalsia Lodge and Glenferry Lodge, and Balmoral Beach, which is near the Albert Mossman. These are pretty simple photos to take with your phone. And all you need to know for location shots is the rule of thirds. It's a composition guideline that places your subject in the left or right third of an image, leaving the other two thirds more open. While there are other forms of composition, the rule of thirds generally leads to compelling and well-composed shots. I'm saying, from my experience, 80% of people with a phone, if you get the rule of thirds down pat, you can take good location shots for your hotel Instagram. So rule of thirds on a horizontal format, so for Facebook, that's how that would look. Vertical, okay, so you've got the composition, the rule of thirds there. And Instagram, it becomes quite arty, so the rule of thirds is there. And there's just an example, Fitzroy Island. That's my family in Perth modelling for me again. <laughs> okay, food and beverage. So this is at the Albert Mossman. We have an extensive cocktail menu. The tips for food and beverage on your premises, capture the food from above. This shows the different textures on the plate. And if you can find a nice area on your premises with some texture, some kind of a nice little key feature, and then just keep going back there to, to photograph the uh, food and choose brightly colored food that will stand out in the photo. Go over your menu, work out what's the most visual and capture it. A nice little tip is to have the beverage in the foreground and the hotel surrounding slightly burned in the background and then the guests can imagine themselves enjoying on your premises that particular thing. My favourite thing to talk about, people enjoying the space. So this is a model I cast on Star Now. I would cast, it's a, it's a modelling agency and I would cast models in exchange for experiences. They'd get a free night for coming and modelling. But now you are very lucky there's a new app that you don't have to put. It's quite a grueling process. You have to put the experience on, different models would apply, then you'd have to ask for their social media following because you'd want some leverage off the experience as well. Uh, there's now an app called Gifted, which is a great app for hoteliers. I don't know if you know about it, but basically the app hashtag Gifted you put your experience on, on the app. Different influencers already have all their social media connected to their profile. They get the brief, they apply. You then get a list of influencers. These people would totally take the, whatever you've asked for, Instagram, Reels, Facebook stills, TikTok videos. They'll, you click their profile, you see how many people they've got, you look at their content, you go, yes, okay, I think that's a fair trade. You then give them the experience. They then uh, share the images on social media. And then you can also post on your social media and you can ask them to, to send you the video. So this is some people that have uh, used Gifted. I'm always looking at who uses it. So Sea Life, Sunshine Coast have uh, put an ad on Gifted. Billabong uh, Retreat, I've been there, it's beautiful. They offered two nights and had some influencers come. I always keep an eye on which hotels are offering free experiences. And then I go on their Instagram and I see what they've created. And it does give a buzz. It creates quite the buzz. So if you want also free content, that's a great way. User-generated content. Uh, please ask the owners of the content for permission and credit when posting via the platform they shared. A little hack, which is great, whenever there's a wedding photographer that comes on site to photograph a bride getting ready on your premises, it's a great way to have cleared images that you can share. So a wedding photographer 
has a bride sign a contract unless they're famous and the bride makes the photographer sign an NDA and then they won't be posting the images and tagging you anyway. If they've put an image on their Instagram, that bride has already signed that contract. So you only have to ask the wedding photographer to share the image. And it's a great way to know that everyone's happy, everyone's cleared, and then you tag the photographer. It's just that extra layer of protection. And I'm always following photographers. Usually they come on site and they follow the hotel. I'll always follow back a wedding photographer and keep an eye on their content. It's also great content for free. Uh, society photo. These are brides that got ready at the Albert Mossman and we've shared the images. Capture your products and collaborate. So obviously everyone has products that they use. This is Leaf. They're on stand 64. They're a great company. We put them on our, all our hotel premises. If you take a photo, I mean, it's not hard. If you use rule of thirds, take a product photo, share it. Highly likely, at the very least, the company will share it on their stories. And it just gives you extra free press. They might even use the image and tag you. So this is very easy. Uh, I've collaborated with Floriad Florist in Mossman. They shared this image. That's in our signature room at the Albert. Coco Chocolate is a chocolate that we uh, have at the Albert. They shared it as well. And you can even now, which is a great option for some extra free press once you've created the free content, is you can say to the company you're collaborating with, hey, do you like this image? Yes, we love it. Let's do a collaboration post where you goes on both your Instagram accounts, you post it instead of tagging them as a brand, you collaborate with them, they then accept it, it goes on both your Instagram feeds, their followers see your Instagram and your followers see their Instagram. It gives you double exposure and if you really want to, you can see who's liked it from their Instagram and have a look around, see who you want to network with. It's a great idea. My last tip, and it's a little hack that I use every time, Adobe Lightroom is your new best friend. It's a free app. It's by Adobe. And it will just give you something called a preset. A Lightroom preset is a configuration of settings designed to achieve a certain look or style of your photo. So the before and after, these were not retouched. These were just put into Adobe Lightroom and a preset uh, AI, Adobe AI will actually suggest a preset, but you can check different presets if you prefer, which I like to. So you can see before and after. The image goes in. It's better than a filter. A filter, it, it's a step further than a filter. AI, it, it, it can turn it into a HD photo. Um, you can say it's a food photo. It's much more AI based than just simple Instagram filter with the same kind of bleaching out of, of images. There's a before and after. You can see the presets that I've pitched too. So for that one there. Now, once you've picked your favorite preset, apply it. So choose a different preset for each hotel premises to give your visual give your visuals consistency. So just say I pick quite a strong, bold preset for the Albert Mossman. Every time I post an Albert Mossman photo, I run it through that preset in Adobe Lightroom. Why do I do that? Because what it does is it gives your images consistency on the actual Instagram page. So these images all had different shades, different tones, they were taken at different times of day. But if I just take them through Adobe Lightroom, and the one I use for the Albert usually is Warm Contrast preset, and it's free, and it just gives a nice tone. Thank you for listening. I really enjoyed talking today at the No Vacancy Small Hoteliers Conference and I'll be taking any questions. Uh, thank you for listening.